they are, and I'm and I'm agnostic in Have you some ever seen ways. Anything? Well, let me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, yes, I have actually. What'd you say? <sighs> I mean, I don't know what they were, but I've seen things I can't explain. What did you say? So I saw. So there's twice I've seen things. I saw one time. I saw um, three lights that were. I thought they were stars, and then they. And then the one on the. They were all just like they looked almost like Orion's belt, like three stars. And then the the one on the far left uh, just broke away from the other two, and then did. And it was weird. I'm. This is gonna sound really weird, and so I don't. No, feel, just you know, express it. No, it just. It really like literally. It, it it felt like it was pulling my left eye. The left. Like I was looking at them, and it felt like you know how like like it's almost like you're being cross-eyed, but it felt like it was literally pulling my left mm. eye. And then it just did a set of um, squiggles like that, and then a cloud bank came over and covered it up. You know, I don't know what it was. I know drones didn't look like a drone. There was no noise. How, but did you see a shape of this thing, or was it no? Like they were as just high they were the just stars. white. They were just white lights. I can I couldn't tell how high up they were. Mm. And then the other one I saw was actually in a suburb of 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 Houston, or was it Dallas? And I was running at night, um, and there were these two guys there, two black guys. Uh, young guys that had just got out of their car and they were they were then f- I had seen these orange orbs and then they were filming them with their cameras and uh, I went over them and I was like what, what are those and they're like we don't know I mean they looked a little bit like at first you thought they were Chinese lanterns but there was no paper bag you know that the lanterns mm-hmm. were no like there's nothing there so they looked like and they also kind of looked like there was some translucent thing around them and they just they looked I couldn't also tell how big they were couldn't figure out where they were coming from. I went and ran around the neighborhood trying to figure out where they were coming from to see if maybe somebody was sending off. How uh, fast were they moving? R- shockingly slow. Like they were sort like of floating. They were like kind a of. Balloon. They felt like they were floating. Hmm. So I'm not saying again. Where, I don't what, know what, what they happened were. with them. I watched them until they stopped coming. For what do you like, mean? I mean, I just watched them. They just kind of would appear out of nowhere, and then they would. They would like it was in this residential neighborhood, and then they just. Drift off, and they would float over. I we watched them at one point float all over, all over downtown. So it's probably like a mylar balloon or something. With an LED Didn't look light like inside of it. I no? mean, it was just they were fu- they were also blurry hmm. and orange. I mean, I looked it up but orange. It was orbs. A lot of cloud cover too. Right? I photo. I actually photographed. I have a Can bunch of videos it? of them. Let me see. All right. Well, Send it me- to Jamie. Okay, I'll- <laughs> we're going to analyze it. We'll tell you what it is. All right. But I also want to tell you the thing we just did. <laughs> all right. Okay. Um, Let's, I need those videos. All right. Okay. So it's gonna we're gonna people are gonna have we'll to pause. wait for me. We'll okay. pause. Real quick. All right. All right. We'll pause. All right. And I also have the ones that the guy. So the guys there, we exchanged phone numbers and stuff, and they texted me. Since we're paused, I have an update on your story that's been published already. Oh, today. what is it? People found out on Google there was some mentions of that back. They think when Grush brought it up in 2023, and since that was made public on Twitter, it seems that Google has removed those searches. What? Yeah. This I'll is for you. the, the we're name of the person. We're keeping this well, in. Then, I was going to bring it up when we came this on. Is this is Immaculate yeah. Conception? Yeah, there's this, this screenshot someone took of uh, a spike. Wow. Um, I guess it doesn't say the exact date. I was trying to find it and tried to recreate it too. And then like an hour later, the spike's gone. Oh, that's crazy. I'm, I did, did, but, did, but did Grush mention Immaculate Conception? That, I don't know. It says... Uh, Okay, the term the Immaculate time. Conception is rarely searched on Google. Of course, searches for, uh, searches for it skyrocketed today, and this is because of UAPs? So what did Grush say? Specific- Immaculate Conception is the name of the secret UAP Pentagon program that oh, I, I revealed today. interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Um, Show more? Uh, of course, searches for it skyrocketed, but there was one other time it was displayed in a large blip, June 2023. Just as modern UAP crash retrieval story broke, David Grush went public and hearings were planned. Whoa. But so they, were, they removed that spike, so they pretend it doesn't exist anymore? I don't know. So it says zero there, so it's hard to say. It could have been a you know Google trend blip that people were trying to make something and right. that is make weird. more out of, but it is a weird you know, it's weird. I'll just say it it's is weird. weird that it, it just jumped up one day and then stopped. But also, people have like a fucking very quick news cycle. How's it going over there? Me? Oh, finding the. I'm trying to find <laughs> the videos. Um, How long ago was this? It was uh, last year, and it must have been. So here's the other. <laughs> here's the other weird thing is that I. <laughs> 
It was the same day that I published a story about UAPs. Oh. So you ever wonder if like that, maybe they're fucking with you and they find out where you are and they send some drones over to this place, get them to start talking. I mean, I, I felt better because there were there were two other guys there, mm-hmm. you know, and I have their info and um, so yeah, I don't. It's just uh, of course, who knows what it is, but it, at least it's not behaving like something out of this world. It's yeah. not like the Phoenix Lights where you got something that's a mile long flying over Phoenix and no one can figure out what it is. Right. There's um, just a, there's enough of these that make me think there's something going on. I, I don't think it's all bullshit. I think some of it is ours, but I think a bunch of it's probably not ours. But so first of all, if they are ours mm-hmm. and they're anti gravity, that's mm-hmm. just insane. Insane. And and yeah. the part of me that's skeptical of it is because I know a lot about nuclear energy and nuclear power, and it took a huge amount of effort to build the bombs. Mm-hmm. Huge huge amount of effort. Huge number of people. So the idea that anti-gravity was then sort of like, oh, yeah, we just did that in, like, a couple of years or something, that strikes me as really improbable. Yeah, very improbable in a couple of years. But if they're doing it over decades, then they're doing it with retrieved crashes, which seems to be a part of the narrative. Yeah. You know, uh, Diana Pasolka and Gary Nolan, yes. you're where they were. Of course. Like, they, they call them the crash sites donations. That's very interesting. It gets weird. It yeah. gets weird because uh, there's a bunch of inventions they attribute to crashed retrievals where they back-engineered stuff. Uh, you know, I would imagine uh-huh. that if I was a super sophisticated society from another planet and I saw these struggling apes, I would uh, give them some hints. Yeah. How do I send these to you? You Jamie? can uh, airdrop them to Jamie's oh, okay. MacBook. Okay. See him in there? No. Right, airdrop, okay. It says no people. Oh, there you are. Jamie's MacBook. Okay. Bam. Um, they don't, I mean, they don't look like much. You know, they're just like right. orange dots, but... Um, but it's weird. It's weird. So and, and, I'm dr- and I'm gen- I want to stress, because I, my critics always use this to try to describe me. I don't know what it is. I don't know of what course. it is. I just don't know what it is. And, and so anybody I'm very, who says they do know what it is, I get very suspicious. Yeah. If they, they, they say, I have all the information, I'm like, yeah. how could you? Yeah. How could you? How do you absolutely know what it is? This whole thing is real weird. It's real weird. When fighter pilots recognize things that are behaving in a way that they've never seen before, that's real fucking weird. Yeah. When you've got these guys like, um, you know, Grush is a, the best example, but there was another pilot, uh, there was another jet that was with him, multiple witnesses that saw this thing physically.